I would uh, like to know more about um, what you're working on, what are the policies of uh, the city of Copenhagen uh, in, this, uh, in this particular field. Yes, uh, Copenhagen is trying to, to be a very green city. Uh, our ambition is to be uh, a green uh, metropolis in, in 2015. And uh, one of the big issues is uh, the air pollution and CO2 emission from, from traffic, which we need to, to deal with. And uh, there's a lot of ways to, to deal with the traffic. Uh, already today, uh, one third of the Copenhagen is, is uh, traveling by bikes to work every day and in, into school. So that is uh, quite amazing. But also about our cars, uh, we have some politics. Uh, when we are buying new cars, we have to buy the smallest cars, which run longest on the energy, uh, on fuels. And also in the future, uh, from 2011, we need only to buy electric uh, or hydrogen-powered uh, personal uh, cars in, in our municipality. So we hope in 2015, maybe we'll have up to 85% of uh, zero emission vehicles. But that's the goal uh, we need to work on. Well, that's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> um, there are there any other cities in Europe that you're uh, looking to, to have, uh, like to see if they're having best practices, something you can take uh, like inspiration from in your like, projects? Yes, uh, we have um, a low emission zone here in, in Copenhagen where we um, uh, demand uh, filters on, on lorries and buses uh, traveling in, in the whole Copenhagen area. And when we, we started on that project, uh, we also looked into Stockholm in Sweden because uh, they have uh, some similar kind of system, but they also have the congestion charges, which we are not allowed to have here in Copenhagen. Uh, because of national politics and we also look to to Berlin because uh, they have uh, uh, reached uh, the particle emission levels uh, which we still have a problem with in, in Copenhagen and NO2 emissions uh, where we also need to, to decrease uh, the levels. The, these policies are something that citizens are uh, something that citizens are going to better feel a lot from. Uh, how much uh, the uh, the citizens are involved in these uh, kind of projects. Uh, th what about the participation of the like population to the uh, the citizens? Yeah, yes. uh, you meaning? Uh, well, we uh, get a lot of feedback from citizens uh, asking about air quality. Is it safe to to live uh, in this area? Uh, is it okay for me to uh, switch from one home to a new residence? Uh, so they care about it, uh, and they also expect uh, that we are, are doing our best in order to to give them a good uh, environment. So sometimes uh, when we are implementing like uh, low emission zones, for example, we have hearings uh, where participants in uh, with companies uh, having lawyers can make their statements, uh, but also citizens in Copenhagen can make their statements. So we are trying to cooperate uh, feelings from both uh, citizens, but also from the companies. Uh, what, um, is the, the environmental issue uh, uh, something that is uh, strongly felt by uh, by the like the Denmark people, or is something that is? Uh, like stronger now that you have the the summit the, the are there uh, lots of i don't know recycling uh, policies re lots of uh, involvement in this uh, daily life uh, kind of things that people can do to to improve the their own life well, uh, since uh, I think we have been talking about the uh, COP15 uh, a whole year in, in Denmark, and uh, of course uh, we, we meet a great interest because uh, people are hearing a lot about it. And uh, lately we have um, met some people who are interested in where can you get uh, electric cars, for example, and where can you, re you recharge uh, your, your cars because you, you need a stick to, to put uh, and recharge your, your cars. So we see some kind of different thinking uh, all around in, in the um, environment spectrum. Okay. Mm? So uh, thank you very much for hosting us and for showing this <laughs> beautiful place and uh, see you. Yeah, nice to talk to you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.